So this year, um, we focused a lot on the uh, readiness of GCC enterprises to attract and return the next generation. Um, Cybersecurity, as you know, have been always impacted by multiple forces, um, technologic, economic, and demographic as well. Um, so this year, we have launched our annual survey that is mainly focused about the differences between the different generations in terms of their digital behavior and social media footprints and their expectation when it comes to the workplace and how companies in the region are responding to that. And uh, we came up with uh, some recommendations for both companies and employees that we are launching in JISEC 2017. So we've looked at three aspects in our survey. Um, one of them is related to um, the social media footprint of the multiple generations. So we looked at the um, senior generation, that is, you know, Generation X, which is, uh, you know, senior individuals uh, in the range of uh, mid to late 30s, um, all the way up to mid to late 50s. Uh, we looked at Generation Y or the millennials, and we touched a little bit on the digital natives or Generation um, Z. So millennials are, let's say, early 20s to mid 30s, and the digital natives or Generation Z is in their, you know, 17, 18 years up to 21. And uh, some of the uh, things that we have discovered is that by far Generation Y expect to be mobile, expect to be connected all the time, and has a much bigger footprint when it comes to social media. They expect to bring their own devices to the enterprise, which is the whole notion around, uh, you know, bring your own device, but that continues to uh, drive security challenges into enterprises. Um, and um, they use social media as their trusted news source um, and trusted source for information in general. And um, they seem to be a disconnect between the um, confidence of the millennials compared to the old generation when it comes to their organization's readiness to predict and uh, prevent cyber attacks. What we're finding is in the older generation, which is Generation X, people are a little bit more traditional, more conservative, and more aware of their privacy. Um, they prefer to use the corporate-owned devices that are configured to serve their needs. Uh, they have a smaller social media footprint. And um, I believe that, uh, you know, uh, the recommendations that we are releasing in our report address these differences. Um, some of these uh, related to the device ownership program where we believe that companies should look at the best of both worlds, the corporate owned devices, the bring your own program, bring your own device program, and the emergence of the new program that will let employees to choose their own devices from a list of pre-approved secure devices from their organization. I believe this will be the trend going forward. Um, what we're finding also in the report that more than 75% of the organizations we studied across the region, and we covered 1,400 individuals across the GCC roughly, um, more than 75 of companies restrict social media, either fully or semi-restriction. That's a challenge compared, um, you know, we compared that to the previous um, years, and we don't see that this um, is improving, but it's a challenge when it comes to attracting um, the next generation that is you know, mainly dependent on social media and always active on social media and expect this to be um, to yeah, be the case. Especially apart from uh, like, uh, talking about the, the findings, you know, based on the behavior of, of the market, you know, what would be uh, GBM's advice? You know, like when we talk about security in like everyday workplace, right? So what would be the one key message of GBM to the market? I think companies should um, adopt an IT strategy that is holistic, that starts from solid policies that would serve the needs of today, but also the future in the digital transformation transformation era that we live. As to the best of our knowledge, you know, we are in the fourth generation of our security story, and uh, we are able to deliver to the best of our knowledge what we are. Uh, what we what we have in the market from the people aspect to the infrastructure aspect to the policy itself but most importantly um, the awareness and the training of um, the, the, the end users or the users uh, within the organization that continues to be the weakest link in any cybersecurity um, um, discussion or, or threat.
security do and the one security do which you would like to pass on to your customers and your partners as well? I think from a company's perspective, um, do review your IT strategy. Make sure that um, you balance the risk and the reward of being open uh, without being too open and exposing your privacy and security. Um, but do review your IT strategy. Uh, we live in um, an area or a region that is mainly dominating, uh, dominated by uh, millennials in terms of the uh, uh, workplace um, talent. So we do need to uh, have the infrastructure that cater for their needs. And uh, do not expect that if you continue with your strict IT policies, um, I think do not expect that you will not be left behind in this digital transformation, especially if you are an industry around technology, around retail, financial services, and media. Those, those industries are being impacted heavily by the digital transformation and much faster than other industries around. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're most welcome.